This meeting is being recorded. All right, KZ, we'll go ahead and get started with Brady Hawk. Hey, KZ. After not having a true offseason last year, obviously the focus will be to improve your all-around game, but is there anything specific that you would like to try to improve by the start of next season? Just making sure I'm as efficient as possible while I'm on the court. I'm just really uh, cleaning up all the realms of my game. Um, next, we'll go to Cooper Moorhead. Hey, KZ, you obviously got some some good time on the court this season. Um, wh what was your takeaway from the minutes you did get? Um, and, and what are you going to take from those minutes as far as putting them into your work this summer? Uh, I think just the speed of the game. But um, uh, as the season went, I got more comfortable, uh, which is all I need, uh, knowing that it's going up. So now just um, being greedy with it and taking it. That's it. Do you have a good sense now? I mean, obviously, this last two years has been a lot and it's come at you really fast. But do you have a sense now of what kind of role you can carve out for yourself? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. Well, thank you and have a good summer. Thank you so much. Well, on, KZ, we got some more going. Uh, next up, we have Ira Wonderman. Hey, KZ. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> you're a luck in the last two summers. I mean, for developmental time, obviously, uh, the contract thing, the injury coming into summer league two years ago, last summer uh, being sidelined. How much are you relishing finally having a chance to have a normal offseason, a full developmental period, and – and I know most guys don't look forward to summer league again, but is that sort of going to be maybe the takeoff point where you finally can get a running start into a season? Oh uh, yeah, it's a blessing, man. Now I just got to take advantage of it. So I'm hungry as ever, and I'm ready to really just take advantage of it and kill it. And, and is that part of you that like it's just not fair? I haven't had a regular NBA sort of body clock type of season where now everything you've heard from all the veterans, how it was for them, there was the draft, there was a summer league, there was an extended pre-training camp, there was training camp, that you finally can get sort of on the typical treadmill after two so un, you know unusual years? I mean, there's no excuses. Uh, uh, I don't blame uh, the circumstances whatsoever. So, so it's a blessing that I do have a full um, off season with summer league and all that. So, uh, I accept my blessing and I'm going to take advantage of it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, next, we have Barry Jackson. Hi, KZ. You you actually led the team in defensive field goal percentage against in terms of the guy you're guarding based on the league's metrics. Do you feel comfortable with your individual defense now where you feel like you're really good at it? You can take any assignment against any score? I do. I really love the defensive end. I, I truly do. And, and, and so... I'm comfortable in that aspect, but there's still a lot of work that I need, I, I need to uh, work on. So I'm excited about that, but defensively, I, I love that. I love that. Yeah. And fr from an offensive standpoint, if you wouldn't mind just giving us your thoughts on where you stand in your game, would you like to develop more moves? Are you happy with how your three point shooting has progressed? Uh, just being more consistent. Uh, my three point shot, uh, if I see a couple that don't go away, I'm not trying to uh, remake my shot. Um, but offensively, uh, I would say I'm comfortable, but just picking my spots and being more efficient, like I said earlier. Uh, Thank you. Um, next, we go to Cristo Saltas. Hey, KZ. Hope you are doing well. What did you notice as your biggest growth on and off the court this season with the Heat? And also, how beneficial for you was to have teammates like uh, Bam, Jimmy, Iggy, and UD? And what did you learn from them? Uh, yeah, growing on the relationship side, just growing with my teammates on and off the court. I think uh, I took a big step in that. And I would say that's like Bam, Jimmy, Dre, Tia, uh, Nothing but nothing but inspiring me every day. So uh, I tip my hat off to, to those guys because they truly do. Uh, uh, even if it's a workout, it's just me. I know that I got to kill it uh, because I see how hard uh, those vets grind and what they've been through. So any task I'm asked to do, I do it to my best ability. 
Thank you very next much. We got, next, next, we go to Jim Conlon with RCB Sport Ireland. Hi, Casey. Uh, you've seen both sides of the playoffs in your two seasons uh, here with the Miami Heat. Last year, getting to the NBA Finals, and this year, obviously, the disappointment of a first-round exit. What do you think in terms of moving forward now that you can contribute? What are the main aims that you aim to contribute to make sure that Miami Heat are getting to the NBA Finals more often? Uh, I think uh, really just uh, being a physical, strong body down there, I think. Uh, uh, but I can still play the perimeter, you know what I mean? That swing being a, a strong swing, being a, I think uh, that can always help when, when it comes to the physicality of the playoffs. So I think I can bring that. Part of the year, not shooting the ball very well. Uh, I did some things, tweaking my jumper a little bit, uh, trying to add a little more range to it, make it more consistent. Um, but with anything, when you make a little bit of change, it, it takes some time for it to, to get right. And on the tail end of the year, I think I was shooting the ball uh, much better than I was in the beginning. Um, but defensively, it was all just about making an impact. Uh, and that's where you know my presence could be felt. Uh, we also needed someone to facilitate at the time. So I tried to just you know get in the paint, find guys, get other guys involved, and then just be a pest defensively. Uh, we talked early at the beginning of the year uh, about Avery um, and him being in training camp and seeing him up close, uh, someone who I had studied. Um, so being around him, continuing to work, playing ones with, uh, you know, playing ones with Jimmy always helps, playing with a great player, trying to guard him and then just trying to pick up my intensity, man. It was uh, it was a challenge. It wasn't easy, but it was the, the best way I could uh, have an impact on this team. When you look at your two two-way contracts, they've been like no others. I mean, last year with the bubble being playoff eligible, basically just being another member of the team. This year, they didn't have the restriction on dates. Um, that helped, I guess, contract-wise. You got a few days paid on the NBA rate also. Got to be in the playoff uh, mix out there with the teammates. It, it, are you hopeful of the next step? Or if you have to step back to another summer league and sort of continue the same climb, sort of where would you like your career trajectory to move next? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to do whatever's necessary, um, whatever's needed for me to, to continue in this league, uh, to continue forward. I think I did a lot the past two years to, to show not only my, my growth, but um, that I am capable of playing at this level. Um, you know, changing my game, not really having my jumper fall for me and still finding ways to be impactful and make winning plays. So uh, that, that was important for me to be able to show that. And I think that, you know, once my jumper starts falling again, consistently, like we all seen it as it can. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. And you know, we'll see what happens next. Next, we go to Cooper Moorhead. Gabe, okay, um, you know, well, I, I hope you were able to get some time off to rest your legs. We know the player development program here doesn't really ever stop. Um, wh what is the you know, what does your next couple of weeks look like as far as maybe taking taking some time off? And then once you get back into the program, what do you think your day to day is going to look like um, as far as what specifically you want to work on with your game? Uh, I mean, my time off will look different than some of the other guys as I'll be going to uh, Nigeria's national team's training camp in a few weeks here. So I might take a few days. It might take a week, but um, I definitely don't want to get all the way out of shape uh, as I prepare for that and, and hopefully make that final roster going towards Tokyo and the Olympics. Um, and then coming back with the, the heat, you know, we're going to work hard. We're going to find times to grow and get better. Um, so I think it'll be very similar to as it has been this past summer, um, as it has been throughout the year. Uh, just continuing to work, obviously get my, my jumper where it was, where it needs to be, uh, be much more consistent with that and, and working on different ways to finish around the rim. So I think that'll be a, a huge piece of my game to, to take me to the next level and just continue to to work and hopefully this summer with some high level competition, it'll be a great opportunity for me to grow in those areas as well. Is that training camp start? Is that in June or early July? Uh, end of June, early July. Cool. Thank you and have a good off season, man. Thank you very much. All right, next we go to Tim Reynolds. Hey Gabe, um, I wanted to ask you about Olympics as well. Um, how did that opportunity come about? Does, is, is Mike Brown talking to guys or I guess, how were you first approached and, and is it kind of, is it kind of mind blowing that the next game you play might be in the Tokyo Olympics, which is kind of crazy. It's, it is a little crazy. Um, it's been a wild past couple of years, um, but it came about, I mean, I, I was competing with Nigeria in China. It was it two years ago now. And uh, that's where we qualified for the Olympics. So 
I was, I was kind of always in the conversation with them. I've been in touch with them. All the players as well, we stay in touch. Uh, so I was a part of that team that helped us qualify. And I'm just looking forward to having the next opportunity to, to you know, hopefully go represent uh, the country and represent the nation uh, moving forward in the Olympics. But Mike Brown's definitely been in contact. He's been great reaching out to guys, um, communicating well. And, you know, we're all looking forward to it and excited. When, when, when you guys realized that you were the top African team in China, I guess how big of a moment was that to figure out that you got that ticket punched? It was huge. It was huge. We know how much it means to us. Um, we know how much it means to those that have come before us and, and competed and played. Uh, we know how much it means to our people. So those back in Nigeria who were, were watching and looking forward to seeing, you know, their country move forward and find success um, and to have that sense of pride. Um, so it was huge for us. Um, the way we did it as well, playing China in China, um, it came down really to that game. We had to win and we had to win by X amount of points or something like that. And, uh, you know, we did it in a good fashion and we played well and we played together and we just were trying to represent Nigeria the best way we could. And we, we were happy that we were able to do that and move forward. So we didn't necessarily meet all of our goals when we were in China, but, you know, we did meet that one and we're happy about it. The last one for me on that is this, the, um, I know three or four different countries so far are planning to join the U S in Vegas in, in July. Mm -hmm. Do you know if, if Nigeria plans to play some practice games there as well? Yeah. I mean, to my knowledge, we will be in Vegas. Um, and I, I think we'll be a part of that as well. So, um, like I said, this summer could be a great opportunity for me to play against some high level competition and continue to grow my game. Um, you know, it's, it's very different, you know, doing drills with cones and uh, playing some open gyms when you're, you know, playing games that are um, intense and, and extremely meaningful. Thanks, Gabe. Good luck this summer. Thank you. All right, next we go to Shannon Irish with Heat TV. Hi, Gabe. Um, I'm just curious what, you know, in, a, in the year that you guys had a lot of inconsistency, a lot of change, a lot of different um, moments that you had to go through with the pandemic. What is one of your favorite moments that you can look back on this year, whether it be on the court, in the locker room or with the fans? Just what is one of your favorite moments? Wow, that's tough. Uh, I mean, immediate answer for me is just, you know, when we opened things back up and we got to see all the people back in the stands and uh, to play in front of the fans again. That was extremely exciting. Uh, I had a lot of opportunities this year myself uh, getting on the court a lot more. Uh, so that was also exciting. It's, it's hard to think of this year different than last year. Um, seems like the bubble was just, you know, a few months ago and um, it all kind of rolled in together. So it's been a wild year and a lot of, a lot of crazy moments and a lot of things that, that stick out. And um, I'm sure I'll think of more memorable moments as, as the weeks pass and we get a little bit removed from the season. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you. All right, next we'll go to Brady Hawk. Hey, Gabe. Whenever you were inserted into the game this season, it seemed like you were given the keys to the offense with the ball in your hands a lot more. Just how important was that level of confidence from the coaching staff and how much of a focus will that on-ball development be for you this offseason? Uh, it was extremely important. Uh, anytime, you know, your coaches put trust and confidence in you, um, you know, it means a lot. And, you know, when you have the ball, you do have the, the control of the game. And, um, it's important. You have to value it. And uh, I'm glad I was able to earn their trust and earn it daily. Uh, you know, working and continuing to work and continue to uh, put work in and grow and have my teammates trust in me to make the right decision or to get them the ball where it needs to go. Uh, that part of my game will definitely uh, need to grow and will grow. Uh, and will be very important. You know, most of my career I've been off the ball. Uh, and now I've gone higher and higher uh, throughout the throughout basketball and the more on the ball I am. So. I'll continue to grow. And even from last year to this year, it's been a huge jump. So I'm looking forward to what next year holds. All right, next we go to Cristo Saltas. Hey, Gabe, hope you're doing well. What was the best advice that uh, your teammates or the coaching staff gave to you? And also, how better player you feel from the beginning of the season until, until now? Uh, to that first part, uh, the best advice I got was to just Best advice, best advice. Stay aggressive. Um, I think, like I mentioned before, my, my jumper was struggling earlier in the year. Uh, you know, I mean, it might have turned down a few shots, losing some confidence in it. But, you know, they just continue to, to get working with me on the court, uh, continue to pour confidence into me and tell me to stay aggressive. And I, I try to do that. And as the year went on, 
I, I became more confident in my shot again as it started to fall. And I found other ways to impact the game and, and help my team win. Thank you. What was the other part of your question? I'm sorry. The other part was uh, how better player you feel from the beginning and until now? Oh, I'm, I feel like it's night and day. I feel like it's night and day. I feel like I've become much more of a complete player. Um, you know, like I said, my shot's starting to fall again. I was able to defend at a much higher level, get guys involved. I was able to to play a game and have nine, ten assists or ten rebounds or twenty points. You know, I was able to to affect the game in many different ways. And I'm not sure if that's something I could have done two years ago or a year ago, right, and definitely not as efficiently as I have this year.